Mm-hmm. Thursday at five o'clock, Tony and Chelsea live. And Roxy and Sam and Justin. And today's theme is portraits. And as I already said, our guest uh, is Roxy Rodriguez. It's portraits and fashion. Roxy, how are you? Great, guys. How are you? Good. We've missed you. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Of course. Thank you for having me. Since last time was such a disaster. I'm surprised. It I'm was. Back. You were our rudest guest to date, Roxy. <laughs> yeah, after I told Tony his work was mediocre, I thought that was <laughs> Speaking of work, I went on your website to kind of pull pictures of the show, and holy moly, your pictures I are awesome. It. Yeah, what? check out everybody should check out your Insta. You have amazing work. Oh, Whoa. look at that shot. Whoa. I haven't seen that Whoa. one. Whoa, I know. That's why I put the it up colors, here. The colors, the boldness. Off. Wow. Yeah. Look at this one. Oh my gosh. Amazing. Yeah. Oh. I love this one. Look at the colors, the green and the orange. Your work is so modern. It's all about styling and posing and mood. It feels so candid. None of it feels posy at all. Good. Yeah, because I think that's the main, what I try to do when I'm shooting is like not pose, but just have like, uh, have the model just hang with me. Yeah. And then as she's just feeling it, I'm feeling it. And then unless I really like she's doing something and I'm like, stop, stop, stop. Like, that's perfect. Just stay, hold it, hold it. And then it like turns into what this is with Callan. But um, that's the best part when you're not trying too hard to pose. It, it feels more natural. You taught me so much when I shot with you for that reason, because you connect with the model and then you're really just having fun and you're capturing such natural movements. It's yeah. amazing. People should go to our channel and search for Wanderlust. Uh Roxy, and you'll find the actual shoot that we did. Nobody actually watched that video, but it's really valuable, and you get to see People her style. Me and Roxy watched it. Yeah, over and over and over again. <laughs> like 20,000 times. <laughs> I'm shooting with Ariana again this weekend. Oh, I love oh, her. She's fantastic. Oh, she is. She's so delightful. She is. She yeah. is so beautiful, and but somehow more beautiful on the inside. Oh, she's yeah, like she the most lovely is. person. Yeah beauty from everywhere from every everywhere corner. every yeah. corner every nook and cranny all right we got to start looking at some pictures you want to tell them what they're doing next week Charles? uh next week we're going to do sports and action i don't even i didn't get a picture it's been a really long <laughs> yeah day. we're really far behind is this a s- sponsored no, episode no. but we do like squarespace <laughs> <laughs> okay by the way we like Squarespace. you guys you can submit your pictures at sdp.io slash submit yeah we have some pre-screen photos we're going to try to move quickly through them um what do you think about this kind of mysterious no eyes right I love it. Roxy loves it. You she get a pick it. then. Then you get a pick. Yeah. Oh, All right. A little bit of Dutch tilt here. Some heavy toning. Ooh, yes. Yeah, I'm feeling it. This guy could be like a musician or like a bar owner. <laughs> I, I think yeah. he, I think he'd make a really good like old fashioned. I just like that Roxy's taken on the role of like high school aptitude test. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to guess, like, what, where is it going? Ooh, beautiful. Oh, this but is, it feels like it's... It's a little smoothy smooth. Yeah, yeah so, That's too much. Yeah. So since the background is already pretty soft, I would just, like, not soften her as much. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And, and plus her hair is sharp, and then they smooth their face, and so it's like, it seems wrong. So yeah. don't... You don't... What do you feel? I feel like you don't have to work against someone's natural textures of their face too much yeah the the as i like shoot more i learn to retouch less same Mm -hmm. i used to do way too much and sadly it's all public i used to like smooth too much tweak too much and then you learn to just kind of back away and let the natural beauty show through public it got used for national velveta ads (laughs) yeah okay (laughs) So so you know what i've been humbled (laughs) <laughs> I think this is, this is the right amount of post-processing. Yeah, this is great because because the lighting calls for that. You know, she's. We should be able to see pores, but this is like not a blemishes. lipstick campaign. Oh yeah, I see that, and how her lips match the hat too. It ties it all in. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give that I one just, a pick. Yeah, beautiful, really beautiful. The composition here feels really uncomfortable to me. Like, I wish her eyes were further up, it, right? It's unbalanced a little bit. Yeah, I, 
I feel like maybe this wasn't meant to be cropped this way, and then it just got cropped. Like, it was a wider shot, maybe, and then it got cropped. Mm. I, I struggle with that, too, because I, I want to learn to shoot more beauty, but it's hard to find a perfect cropping for beauty that yeah. feels natural. It is. It's difficult to crop. Mm -hmm. It is. Mm. Um, they really did something. I, I'm i for it. Yeah. I love the use of mirrors. Me, too. I think it's too much head, though. I wish we could see some more of her body. I don't know. It's... I think square. either it needs to be a little cr more cropped in, like a, a for sure beauty shot, or like a little bit cropped out. What if we tried something creative? Now, I'm going to take a risk. No judgment. Okay. This <laughs> and no, I failed. I just feel like... You said I, no judgment, and then you literally judged yourself. Well, that's you broke your I'm, own rule. That's what I'm for. I just feel like there's like... I like the reflection better than the non-reflection. I don't know how to explain it. Okay, we moved on. I didn't get a full chance to screen this. This shot, what is going on here? Roxy I, will know. Roxy. Is this Kool-Aid? Is that the Kool-Aid man busting into him? Like he stopped too quickly? <laughs> I think this makes sense to me because I feel like you throw Kool-Aid on the coach. Yes, you, know? you so do. This is kind of like an incorporation of a, a victory. Yes, he won. <laughs> Well, yeah, this guy's a winner. <laughs> this is what happens when you win. I Tony wouldn't know. Oh. <laughs> hey, you're on my kickball team. You lose just as much as me. That's true. But I still get the Kool-Aid. Um, I I'm so uncomfortable with not being able to see his feet. It's just this weird crop thing. But I admire the amount of work that you put into this. Whoa. What is happening here? I like it. Roxy, There's tell me. Definitely your plenty of emotion going on. Mm. Tell, mm -hmm. tell us your thoughts, Roxy. Tell us your feelings and your dreams. I love this. I think this would be work best as like a set of a few mm. photos. You know? So yeah. it kind of tells a, a little bit of a story. But I, I like this. I love when portraits are doing something like besides. Oh, you're right. Yeah. We do get so bored of just seeing the same things over and over again. Yeah. Oh, hello. Hello. Just your typical leisure wear. I have to say booty goals. Knee high boots. This is why I squat. This is booty goals. This is <laughs> um the Wait. hard part about doing photos like that is to make it look like it's like not just like a, a, a back page photo, but like cause she's so beautiful and so it's hard like you can't like it's perfectly lit i think just the wardrobe needs to be adjusted just a little bit and it can still be sexy maybe have the top and the bottom match so it looks like it's like a set you know a little bit Does i think i don't know what i think i know what you're saying but what i'm feeling is there's a difference between like pin up girl calendar and like fashion like taking it to a higher level yeah yeah, yeah. this is feeling a little bit like she should be next to like a car and you just want yeah. to do something to take it to that next level where it's like high art booty. Yeah. This is perfect for like car and you're selling the lifestyle and like the too fast, too furious. Yeah. So, but then when you put her like this in front of a field, you need like either a lingerie set that's softer and lacier with the boots. Like it's doable, but it all has to make sense. Yeah. I think the more, skin you show the more difficult it is to style a shoe oddly oh yeah because skin yeah. can be just having someone nude or wearing very little suddenly you have to say so much more with the rest of the photo and it, it can either be cringy like oh mm -hmm. or it can be like oh that's so beautiful that's mm -hmm. a very hard thing to pull off you do that really well people should look at your portfolio and see yes, or your insta or your insta because i love i love booties and i love <laughs> girls like the women's bodies but it's you gotta walk that line of like making it look tasteful yeah and not i mean it just depends what you're trying to do if we're shooting cars then we're shooting cars but if we're shooting in front of a field it's going to be a completely different story i think so too what's the story here what do you think he's thinking this almost Wish looks like I a classic a instagram shot i am yeah. bugged by the fringing we gotta be just I know the exposure is not going to be perfectly balanced, but you can't bring it back that much. This is a beautiful location. 
I feel like yeah, this sure model has so much character that I almost want to see a little more storytelling. Like this yeah. looks cinematic to me, like a Coen's brother movie. Like he just robbed a store or something. Or I know what you're saying. You're yeah. saying you want to see him in some knee high boots and just something more like this, right? I want to see that booty. Yeah. I got booty on the brain now. <laughs> oh, she's pretty adorable. Is she I... hugging her own foot? She's flexible. <laughs> There's like ballerina know? shoes and a fur though. I'm kind of confused about what's going on. I think it may be a recital. Um, beautiful light. I I think everything is really nice. I, I wish the background were all kind of all green. That fence along the right side just seems like a distraction, like it's not adding anything to it. Um, maybe you caught focus on the far eye instead of the near eye. Minor that, points, though. Look at that adorable dimple, though. Oh, her dimple. Oh, I love I love the fur choice because it, but the foot. Like I want to see if she's either holding her foot <laughs> or if she just happens to have her shoes on her. It's a little bit distracting, but. Everything like her smile, the lighting is beautiful. I think yeah. so too. And I also want to know if she's the most flexible girl in the world or just holding her shoe. <laughs> nice I feel like Ruben. the perfect photo is in there. Maybe just like two shots further. Yeah. Great styling on this, right? Yeah, this is cute. I love this style. What is this called? Is this, this is, this is a style. Um, like Americana or something like that. Almost like 50s, uh -huh. you know, like soda pop shop type thing. Yeah, I see, I see girls dress like this, like in the, at the grocery store. And I'm like, you're so cool. Like, that's what they wear every day. And yeah. They look super hip. And I think that's cool, too. I think the lighting is too soft for my taste because you can see it's just so even on her. It's like an overcast day. Um, I might just hit her with a strobe just to add some definition, Ooh. you know, cast a shadow below her chin. Uh provide some more de definition for her cheekbones because it's a little bit too soft right now, I think. And the pose on her head, it's like the tip of her nose is just like right at the cheek line. And mm -hmm. I might have it just in a little bit so there's a little bit of separation there. Um, I like the color contrast, the green in their head. There's something really washed out about this. What happened here? Gotta restore some contrast. I don't know, there was something weird that happened in the processing, I think. This is the sharpest picture I've ever seen. <laughs> is it really? Because did you just see my pictures? <laughs> what do you think, Roxy? Uh, she's beautiful. Isn't and she so beautiful? I don't, I don't hate the accessories. I think she looks a little bit. When my dad takes pictures of me, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of looks like she's like, are you sure? Picture right now. Mm, okay. Are we done she yet? Pull her shoulders back a little bit and. You know, she could look a little bit more comfortable, but the um, everything else is there. And Steven, you got to develop some of that Roxy charisma because when I worked with Roxy, she just had this way of making the model just laugh. So comfortable. You were just hanging out with Roxy, and Roxy was just hilarious all the time, and you yes. were just having a great time. Yeah. And then she just got some spectacular pictures of you. We and don't this even feels understand very, like, it. Sit there, turn your shoulder, smile, and that's all perfect. You like did the perfect standard portrait, but. It, Needs that one extra thing. It I needs think. that rock deep. Yeah, um, yes. I know how uncomfortable I get when I get pictures taken of me. It's ha it's hard to like let go, and so for sure, the number one thing you can do is like develop a relationship with your subject and just kind of shoot the shit, and then from there get to know each other, and then you'll make magic. They have to be comfortable with you as a photographer too, right? Like they have to trust that you know what you're talking about. Yeah, because I've yeah, had yeah. models before where I'm like, turn like this, and they're like, I don't know, that feels weird. I think you're wrong. I'm like, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just try it. It's okay. <laughs> just do it. Well, how I do you love feel? The use of the red uh, jacket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it really pops. Um, but it is all like wrinkled and bunched up, and I think that can be one of the hardest things, That's a look. right? Just like getting that smoothed out a little bit. I feel like this is a. I can almost see i think she's wearing like tights and knee highs if yeah. she were standing and just looking like a fierce mama then it would just be a, i think it would be great if she was just like power standing yeah like, i can see that it it would be amazing oh we got a little censorship okay. here on the show. i have never seen a photo like this before Ooh. i couldn't tell what that was i thought it was part of the top at first me too Censorship is hard. It is. I mean, it's difficult. 
Yeah, I hate putting like the little X's over the nipples because I'm like, they're just nipples. You just but... want to free the nipple. Yeah, but sometimes you gotta. You you can't always. Um, I love one thing. I get the softness with the skirt, but I, she has amazing bone structure, and I wish the light was showing that off a little more. What are mm -hmm. your first impressions? Um, I really like this. I think the problem with it would just be that like her skirt part is really soft and then she's really intense up here. So yeah. then you can't tell like if it was cropped up a top, she would look like a fierce Xenon warrior. And then but then the skirt is really soft. So I'm like, is she a fairy? It's it's definitely hard. I love mixing soft elements and more intense elements you just gotta yeah it's hard to balance everything there's a lot I, to think about i just want to make a suggestion if we i think if we had dropped the background by about two stops the photo mm -hmm. would have had a lot more pop it's so like very gray you want more like contrast. middle yeah i feel uh, like we have really constructive criticism as a group i'll import well, some I photos do... that people have sent in live in just a second go ahead i do want to say i really love that people try studio stuff and maybe they haven't done a lot of studio stuff so do you know what i mean like yeah. try something that's outside of your comfort zone because it that then that, i don't care if that was the first time or not the first time that that photographer was in the studio they're trying something new she's not just wearing a t-shirt and pants she's they're trying something that's out of the box and that i absolutely love i love that too because they're taking a risk and mm -hmm. it doesn't always have to pay off the first time. You work on these things and you develop these things and then you're mm -hmm. different. It takes uh, it takes like some bravery to be different, right? And to kind of reach yeah. out and do something like that. Absolutely. While y'all are talking, I gave Al a pic because this is an awesome oh, picture, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Yeah, I have nothing to say but good things. Good, um, great things. Sam, do you have any, any uh, questions for Roxy? Hi, sorry. <laughs> sorry. My roommate just walked in the door, so my dog is starting to cry. But yes, I do. <laughs> um, okay, Jim Setzer wants to know, Roxy, I've had good success with getting models and fashion designers featured in web-based fashion magazines. What do you think of this trend, and what are their impact on the overall fashion industry? What? One more time. Oh, okay. You want me to repeat it? <laughs> yeah. I understood that he's getting a lot of his work in magazines. So, yeah. He said, I've had good success getting models and fashion designers featured in web-based fashion magazines. What do you think of this trend and what of their, and the impact on the, on the fashion industry? Oh my gosh. It, whether it's print or web-based, if he's able to get his work into something that has a name behind it that you put on your website and that's amazing. I mean, from there, from web-based magazines, he's going to start getting into print and then getting clients who are like, wow, this guy's been featured X amount of times. Yeah, that, I mean, even if it feels like it's a little web-based magazine, it doesn't have a lot of following or whatever, it's something. So I highly recommend if you feel good about a certain shoot to submit it, just like he's doing and having success with it. Yeah, that's Good question, Jim. Check, Jim's check the guy out. who sent oh, in that sorry. censored picture, by the way. That's beautiful. What else, Sam? Tech Checker wants to know, Roxy, what was your first camera? <gasps> ah, um, it was a <laughs> Canon Rebel T. I don't know. It was beige. <laughs> <laughs> the body was beige, and the lens was like the kit lens. And then I remember shooting models, and they would say, like, can I see the back of the camera? And the screen was like maybe like this big. And it would take like, 30 to a minute, 30 seconds to like 60 seconds to load the photo. So I'd be like, oh no, like I'll show you later. You can't see because I was so embarrassed that like the <laughs> camera was so old and bad. But I, I mean, it worked then. I was able to get for what I thought then was really good stuff. And even though it was like such an old camera. Yeah, I think it's more about, especially when I see people really talented and creative like you, that creativity sets you apart so much more than just like the specs of your camera. Because yeah. right, anyone could just get a camera that's the best camera on the market at the moment. You can't immediately get uh, that intuition for poses and for colors and for styles. So. Can I just tell a story about Roxy? Roxy was on 
I hope it's really embarrassing. Tell me. <laughs> Roxy yeah. was on uh, the, what is it called? The super, the top, top photographer. Yeah. And she got second super place. Photographer. And <laughs> Canon gave her a 5D Mark IV, like a very expensive camera. Yeah, they did. And then later we went out to California to meet up with Roxy and she was shooting with whatever her previous camera was. It was like a, a D40 or something, like a very old camera. <laughs> and I was like, 60. Roxy, where is your 5D Mark IV? And she's like, oh, I haven't taken it out of the box yet because uh, like she didn't care. And I, that is my favorite no. thing because you are not about the camera gear at all. And so many people don't realize that. Like it wouldn't make much of a difference to her pictures because Roxy is about interacting with the model and styling and posing and all of this that isn't, you know, megapixels and focusing and all that stuff. It didn't make that much of a difference. Because I think a lot of people care about that because it's easier to buy something than to put a lot of time and effort into something. Yeah, but Roxy's yeah. a real photographer and it just, it just made, it was better for her to stick with what she knew and eventually, I think you broke out the 5D Mark IV. <laughs> I'm very it. thankful to them. I think when I got on the show, I was only shooting on my 60D and I made it onto Top Photographer. And like when Canon found out, they were like, what? You shoot on a 60D? Like, no, 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 no. But it was what got me on the show. And it was what made so much of my work, that my beautiful work that I have on my website was with that camera. So when people ask me like, what are you shooting with? It's like, no, what are you shooting with? Like use what you have and photography is such an expensive hobby and yeah. I don't have all the money in the world, but there's ways to make it work and don't let an old Canon rebel, a beige Canon rebel hold you back from like doing and shooting what you want to shoot. Yeah. I totally agree with you. Absolutely. Well, how about this picture taken with a Sony a seven, which by the oh. way, is a pretty inexpensive camera. This is stunning. Mm -hmm. I think so too. I want to give this I one a pick. her outfit, everything. Me too. Awesome shot. And how about the stair shot? Something about the lighting here is like practically magical, right? Mm -hmm. This is really well lit. Um, I love all the contrast here. You know, she's like the only bright part of it. All the rest of the picture just falls to the black. And I don't know, it just makes it really pop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll give that one a picture. I'm going to do a live import. People who send in their photos during the live show. And we'll take a look at some more pictures. You guys can talk to Sam or... Whatever. Oh, yeah, Sam. What's up, Sam? Sam. Sam has cute hair. <laughs> hello, hello. I have so many questions. Um, Rock, Felix Ellinger with lights and fires. I'm so sorry, night. Sam, but you have robot voice. Is, is that just me or? No, I can't hear Sam. Oh, no. Okay, you sound okay now. Yeah, okay. Hello. I, I look really pixelated to myself and I'm not sure why, but hopefully you guys can see me. Oh, good. Okay. Um, so Felix Bellinger wants to know, do you use lights and modifiers? Because it looks like a lot of your stuff is natural light, but um, they would like to know if you use modifiers and lights. Yes. Yes. <laughs> a lot. Um, usually I use a lot of reflectors. Um, I have a speed light that goes on my camera. I use pro photos. Sometimes, um, especially obviously in studio, I use lighting, but um, outdoors, a lot of the time, I just use a reflector. And sometimes it, it just needs to be soft or like using the speed light at like a low setting just to add a little bit of light. And then it looks like it could be all natural light, but it's, it kind of gives you the, the help that you need. Yeah, I'm not afraid. I would suggest highly to try and use things. And reflectors are like 15, 10 bucks online on Amazon. Buy one. Yeah. It's a good investment. Yeah, especially when you want things to be backlit. It it it, it helps so you don't lose the subject. Ooh, I like this. What? Are you pretty, the bathing suits. Oh, oh yeah, that's beautiful. Mm -hmm. I don't know why part of it is black like that. Maybe there should be it's, something else over there. It's style. Um, it's very like Miami Vice lifestyle, right? Yeah. This makes me want to go to Miami. Miami. Okay. Miami. Sorry, I don't have any more specific feedback. I I feel like she feels like so forced, like her wrist is so straight. Like if she bent her wrist a little bit and the model in the background is very like upright too. The wrist that's like with the ring? Yeah, don't you feel like she's got like G.I. Joe arm? <laughs> yeah. 
I mean, Gee, if Joe, that I'm... is a medical condition. So if she's inflicted, my apologies for being insensitive. That was rude. That was rude. I love her expression. I feel like oh. it's more of a candid shot, right? Like I wish I could get my wing liner to look like that. That is really good. That's a good line. That's a good wing. I wish I could pull off winged liner. I can't even pull that look off. Mm -mm. I don't believe it. Yes, you can. Oh, I don't. Uh oh. <laughs> she could. She's humble. Well, I love the vibe of this. All right, we're moving. We're moving. Ooh. Oh, this is different. Like the railing's a little bit prominent for me, but I still like that it's different. Yeah, I think the railing isn't uh, yeah we got to get in there right uh oh i want to see this whole outfit me too yeah like, we can't really see it with the railing I'm not gonna... so much maybe put her like on the sand and then have just sand behind her I like and she she looks like an egyptian queen yes you know, her palm trees she that needs a doom good suggestion roxy mm -hmm. Mm -hmm kind of candid right okay this looks like a portrait um what do you think about the toning do you do any what, what sort of post-processing do you do roxy i know you said you're minimalist about it do you apply instagram filters or anything no i have this um i told all my friends like before you post anything on instagram send it to me so i can edit it for you and that's kind of like our rule because it really boils my blood when a photo gets like a bad instagram filter just thrown on it and i'm like no <laughs> So sometimes all a photo needs is like adjusting. Like I like the tone of this and it just maybe a little bit toned down. When it's too filtered, it's like too filtered. Yeah, you don't want the filter to be the first thing that stands out, right? Yeah, yeah. it's a hard line to walk. Cause I, I add a little bit of filter to my photos. Sometimes depends on what the shot is and sometimes I don't. And it's whatever you're feeling for that shot or that shoot. Mm -hmm. Uh, here we have the kind of night bouquet in the background. She's got cool hair. Yeah. I don't know. I wish the, the lights, I wish there were more of them. Don't you wish they kind of filled up that upper right corner a little bit? I yeah. Know, I need something. I don't, I don't mind the line, the line of light. Like, ooh, black and white. Yes. Right. Yeah, that's better. Yes. It's more about the form. She has a beautiful, she has beautiful bone structure. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is black and white is it we did it okay and that's okay too some photos i put in black and white because it just you feel it you're like yes it's black right and white just gives you a whole different mood i like the mood of this photo like she just had a rough day and i think we can all relate we can all relate we've been there we've all been there i think what oliver did right is he matched the mood to the toning Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And I often yeah. see those things mismatched. Even the last picture, it felt like the mood was uh, sort of happy and that the toning was kind of dramatic. And uh, yeah, I will say I noticed that he misfocused it cut on the far eye instead of the close it eye. It doesn't even bump me because there's something so different about the photo that it just all seems to work. I'm going to give it a pick. What do you think, Sam? Uh oh, Sam, fro are you frozen? This does seem me, like Sam? right up Sam's alley. Ah, oh, can you hear me? Can you see me? I can. I yeah. can hear you and see you. So we have this portrait. She's standing in a row of trees, kind of classic. The lines draw your eye to the subject. Um, there's natural. The sun's off, off to the camera left, a little bit behind the model, and then they have a strobe in the foreground off to the camera right. It looks like a beauty dish or something. We kind of muddled light on her face because there's some sunlight coming through here, but there is a nice catch light. Cast a shadow under her chin. I I think there's mixed looks going on because there's a very natural background, but she looks like she's going to an office job. So yeah. that that was the first thing that was standing out at me. What do you think, Roxy? You're very good at the style stuff. I, I feel like it was like it's this close. Like they could make it look like she's super fancy going to like the Hamptons mm -hmm. with this kind of like scenery, but it, it looks a little office. Maybe it's the tights and the closed toe pumps and the bag. Yeah. One of my best friends is a lawyer and like this is what she looks like when she goes to work. Yeah. A lot of the time. So the like, outfit is not bad though. It just seems no. like it's not in the right scene. Yeah. 
like a downtown area. Like I'm going to work and you can't stop yeah, me. Yeah, like powerful lady. That mm -hmm. would be perfect. Yeah, this person knows what they're doing. Just got to tweak a little bit. Just a tweak. Just a tweak. How are you feeling about this? I'm about to drop an album. Mm hmm I <laughs> kind of really like this shot. <laughs> yeah. It's nice to see a dude in here too. I'm going to give this one a pick. This looks like a more of like a documentary kind of like this. This guy is making it big, like young Eminem started from the bottom. Now he's here. Like, now he's yeah. on his couch. <laughs> yeah. I, th I like black and white. What do you guys think? I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't mind the color either. I like the blue. Oh, the blue is nice. The blue with the orange. Mm hmm. That's a good angle too. Sometimes you got to try those. I love lower. The low angles. and wide looks nice, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I accidentally skipped. What's happening? It's titled Robotic Cyborg. Oh, but okay. I am not picking that up from the picture at all. Uh, I appreciate they improvised with some tape, and I think. In a smaller format, that can totally pass. I think in a large, high-resolution format, maybe we see it and we think she has tape around her neck. I want eye contact. Bring me in. Yeah. Maybe if she was facing, like, 100% facing the camera. Like yeah, like, this is me, cyborg. Mm -hmm. But I love that they tried this. Look at the background. is very interesting. Yeah. that's I, I like that shot a lot. They put a lot of effort in. They're going places. Mm -hmm. They're going places. I love her dress. Yeah, I think that the dress is so dramatic that I just wish her mood matched it a little bit more. Like it's very turn to the camera and smile kind of senior picture type of pose. And, you know, a little more casual, like a genuine laugh, looking off camera maybe, maybe looking off to the left. I think it would be also great if we hid the foot. Yeah, that's a great suggestion. Or show the other foot. But that happens to me all the time. Like I'm so focused on the subject, and then later when I look at the photos, the fo like the foot's all wrong, or the hand was in the kind of the wrong spot, and I'm like, if I only I would have seen that while I was shooting. I know, and it's, you make a great point. It's so difficult to think about everything. There's so <laughs> much to think about, mm -hmm. especially like the hands. The hands are so hard. I love this photo. I'm just gonna give it a pick. Yeah, I had already given it a pick, right? It's so natural. It's so candid. You don't have to worry about styling. She doesn't even seem to have any makeup on. It's just, it's like nice and intimate and it feels real. Mm -hmm. I have a photo just like this. I shot in a studio and she's just like, look, it's beautiful. I, I love this. I love this. Yeah, sometimes yeah. the best shots are really simple. I feel like she's in a car. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's just like, oh, camping for the weekend or going to the beach. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest lady. Oh um, she looks like a doll. She wow. does. I love her hair. Me too. It's full I'm of secrets. Feel it. What's in there? <laughs> what does she know? <laughs> <laughs> it's another simple shot that works really well. I think I'll give that one a pick too. I love that her dress is kind of the same tones as her hair and her skin. It it really keeps your eye on like on her. Yeah. I'm gonna give it a pick. You got a pick. She steals the show too. That's a good model. Okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like her husband made her stand there. This is another one of like shop on my dad. And I'm just like, dad. All right. Are we done? Yeah. Maybe a little moody or maybe I want to see the background a little more. I feel like you, you got to make them stand there, but then you need to make them laugh or get some genuine reaction out of them. There needs to be some, some posing and then some, just some natural uh, interacting with them. And here it feels very forced and that conveys. We see that. The yeah. eyes are powerful. Speaking of great eyes, mm. a little bit underexposed, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I love, I think I would just, just change the top. But that, I mean, otherwise the photo is beautiful. You would change the top? Mm. Too too busy? Because her face is already so interesting. Why distract with all that, right? Yeah, it looks like maybe there's like a cherry blossom tree behind her. Mm -hmm. Something a little softer. 
Yeah, I see what you mean. But it's beautiful. Give the jab. I'm even Look just like cheekbones. Mm -mm -mm. I'm just bringing up those cheekbones with a little with you get a glow if you just do the highlights, guys. Do a brush, and if you just do the highlights, you get a glow. Look, I'll show you. See. Beautiful. See, guys. You showed us. I showed you. She loves that flower. I wish she loved me like that, Tony. It feels so far <laughs> away, though. Don't you want to be closer? <laughs> wish she loved me like that. Can I say something that's right on that topic? Yeah. Uh, Rob Tillett's imagery just gave twenty dollars. That says, "Thank, Thank you, you to Tony. Please take this and buy your wife flowers because you're both awesome." Oh, oh I love. I do want flowers. Thank I you. I buy you flowers just about every week. That's true. That's true. He does buy me flowers every week. And with and his twenty dollars, I will be able to buy ten <laughs> sets of flowers. Thank you. I'm really cheap. <laughs> I like her expression. Let's see what else Ooh. We got. Okay. I love this one's ring about pops. styling. Okay, I'm all about that ring pop. <laughs> it did take me a second to process that it was a ring pop. <laughs> Roxy, do you love ring pops? How many <laughs> ring pops are you wearing at the moment? Give me a ring pop. Um, right here. Um, I love this photo. I think the ring pop distracts from like the awesomeness and the color that's going on. Like if this were just a beauty shot with all of this, is it's gorgeous. But I think for this, the ring pop kind of takes it like distracts you feel like the the ring pop is too like yeah it's too I, I love what they did with everything else um i'm gonna go a different direction i like the ring pop i just feel like it needed to be lit and in focus you have a white background here there's no reason to be shooting wide open at eight one eight thousandths of a second Take get all the depth of field that you can. Shoot it at f eight. Get that ring pop in focus and hit it with a spotlight. So it's glowing a little bit because it's it's too dark right now. That's put a, a key put a part light of the subject. Within the ring pop. Yeah, um, but also there's this weird red thing on her hand, and I would definitely get rid of that. But I think it's a very cool shot. I'm giving it a pick. Great like styling. Sponsored by ring. Sponsored by ring pop. <laughs> Go out and get your ring pop. I used to love those. Remember when you get hyped up on candy when you were a kid? You'd be like, ah. Oh, yeah. I would put, I would get a lot. So I would fill my fingers with the ring pops. You'd be like, ah. They're all sticky. They have lint on them. You eat it anyway. <laughs> you have no rules. <laughs> Joe Baker. Whoa. This photo disorients me. Don't you feel like she's going to fall over to the left? Is that just me? I'm dizzy. <laughs> You're dizzy. I love when you can pull off a good dress. Uh, a good dress twirl like that like a, in the air like a like flowy a you know yeah. but i think i don't like the sunglasses i it. was gonna see the same thing the it, sunglasses need to go it feels a little miami vice right well because everything's so soft and beautiful like the whites blend into the blues and this light pink and then it's like the styling is like rocker on the face you're right mismatched styles but I'm gonna give it a pick anyway. Do what? Drop that pick. I dropped that pick. <laughs> <laughs> this photo is focused on her nails. I think it's supposed to be on the ring, like an engagement thing. But you really have to watch. There might be your engagement nails. You don't know. <laughs> Will you marry me? Um, you have to watch what you're focused on because that. That you lead the viewer's eyes through the photo. So what do you want them to see first, second, third? You have to kind of look at your photo objectively and see the story there. And I see her nails and they match her shirt, which is dope. And then I see a ring. See, I can give it. It's the dope. I'll give a technical tip. If you focus on the ring, uh, manually focus and then go into continuous and just lean forward and back a little bit. Whoa. How do you Your do body it? movement Ooh. will change the focal point. And at some point, you're going to get that ring in focus, but it's very difficult to precisely focus on something like that, that close. Okay, Roxy, tell us your thoughts. Oh, this is so cute. This, this is what looks kind of like a senior portrait session to me. Yeah, I agree. I have, I have the hiccups, you guys. That's okay. We don't judge here, Roxy. Okay. <laughs> you use your oh my God, that mug. <laughs> <laughs> we lied about you. Remember when we said we don't judge here? We lied. You lied. This is the gossip mug. Like when you're, Friends come over and they're just gonna talk gossip for the mug. You pour it. You pour it you deep. Pour it. 
Port deep. And there's a lot of uh, gas. Yeah, this is a cute sen- senior portrait esque mm-hmm. vibes I'm getting. And I love when things are in the foreground. Me too. And I love that she still feels young and natural. She's not made up to look older than she is. It's not too posy. I really feel like you get a sense for her. And she's just cute and fun and sweet. Let's give it a pick. We drop the pick. Drop that pick. Ooh, I thought that this was like, is this a trick photo? Like, it looks like she's laying on the beach and then they turned it the other way. What? Not unless she has magical hair. I'm seeing like, I'm seeing something very different. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah I, think I totally it's see same. that. Yep. I was trying to, let me, I don't remember how to rotate. This is a picture like the, the black and gold dress thing. That's what it's doing to me. <laughs> there we go. Does that feel better to you? <laughs> like in this, I know it's a wall now, but at first I thought this was the ocean and this was a white sky. And I was like, whoa, why is she planking on the beach like that? <laughs> I love seeing the photo like slowly turn over. You're welcome, Jan. We fixed your photo for you. Made one small error oh my there. Gosh, how could you do that to him? Go back and fix it. <laughs> okay, you want me to set it back? I feel, I feel bad now. We fixed it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I like this one. Yeah. This, this, the whole mood. Her shaved head is perfect for this. Let's so, yeah. I'm gonna give it a pick. Oh. I was going to, I was going to. I love that it feels so casual. He stole my pick. Nice shot, Dan. <gasps> oh my gosh. Booful. The daggos. Somehow, no matter what the theme is, dog photos are always allowed. Small, little ears, small little eyes. So handsome. This is different, Toby. What is he pondering there? He's definitely pondering. Paint. This seems a little candid, like she didn't even know. <laughs> she don't know. She doesn't know. I'm not sure she knows the photographer. She's lovely. <gasps> okay, this is so go. good. Ooh, about to drop that Chris. album. Bum, 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 pick. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, couple shot here, working the backlight heavy. Oh, the hat. I shot an engagement session and the guy insisted on wearing a hat and I was like, no, no. No, no, no. Why did he do that? Not today, buddy. Not today. <laughs> you pulled him aside. Yeah, I was like, I want to see your love, not your favorite sports team today. We're gonna take. Did he take off. it off? Did he do it? Yes. You yeah. saved that bride. There is a time and place for hats, and it's not here. Not an engagement session. So. But it's not the photographer's fault. Ooh, ooh, I love it. Me too, pick. Yeah. Nothing needs to be done. So you natural. Oh, wow. Ooh, ooh. Okay, another pick. Love it. I love the colors against the green background. Yeah, that bone beautiful. structure. This is what I mean. This is obviously has some sort of filter on it. But it but works. Not obvious. It's like so subtle that mm-hmm. it just makes, it makes I, it a little bit. I don't feel like this is in the same caliber as this, though. This feels like she's just staring off. Like maybe, I don't, I don't know. It just feels like she's standing there. Whereas this, like there's a connection, something deeper. Well, so that's kind of the difference because this is not as stylized or anything, but her eye contact and the candidness makes it powerful. And this one is very stylized and like the colors and the contrast and the processing make it powerful. But yeah, I think like a little eye contact could have been nice. Yeah. Maybe. <gasps> Booty goals. <laughs> okay. It's I like wish... the wind catcher pants or something? What happened? You don't. You just don't understand. When your booty wants to be free, it's free. <laughs> this is another wardrobe. Like, it almost, it just doesn't, if it was a bodysuit, you could tell that it kind of does the bodysuit thing. It goes up. But here, it just feels like she's just not wearing pants. Yeah. It seems strange. <laughs> I think everyone I aspires. A skirt on her. Who wears pants? I mean, I don't know. Maybe some pants are just like (laughs) a little more known than it's like a body, a top part. (laughs) Maybe pants or maybe just show us what's going on. I get it though. Like if you're a photographer, you're like, you have a booty. Let's just show that off. Yeah. I immediately felt like there was too much on the eyes. 
I think it's generally a good pose and such. Though this plant is kind of bugging me, but <laughs> that plant, that plant hangers. <laughs> we hate that plant. Uh, I'm just gonna fix this so y'all can actually look at the photo and not spend all your time thinking about that the plant, plant like me. Sabotage. You know, okay. I do that a lot. I'll remove little things that I feel like distract me sometimes from the photo. So. How do you feel about this otherwise? Yeah, I like this. This is pretty. I like how her wardrobe matches the tones of the, the wall. I kind of just want to, I'm going to pull a Tony and just crop a little here. Mm, mm -hmm. She's so happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if I look like, I would be like happy too. Okay. Yeah, yeah. if I looked all smiley, like she looks like a cheerleader. You deserve to oh, be happy. Oh, I'm have we to did it. Okay. Oh, actually, maybe we should just check out. It's pretty late. Well, let's get some questions from Sam. Oh okay. my gosh, this went by so fast. It really Mine, did. It always does, yeah. Wow, wow, wow. Well, well. I think well, we... well, well. Hi, what Sam. What do you got for us, Sam? Hi. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, Rahim Jackson says, Roxy, which genre do you like more, uh, general portraiture or fashion photography? Mm. Fashion. <laughs> Yeah, fashion. like the next question should be why, but he didn't ask that. So <laughs> <laughs> what do you like about uh, fashion, Roxy? I think, well, I, it's such a, ah, I keep using the term fine line. I'm so annoyed at myself, but it, like, I think portrait photography is so fun because you get to focus on the personality of the person or a personality that they want to portray versus fashion is you're trying to kind of sell a look or like a like more commercially, which allows you to be a little more creative. Cause when you're doing portraits, you don't want to do too much cause it'll take away from the, the subject. But a lot of good fashion shots are also phenomenal portraits. Like the covers of Vogue, I mean, that's fashion but it's also a gorgeous portrait. So both. Both. Yeah. Both. I, I think, think this, do we have enough time for another one? Yeah, of course. Um, so knowing that you um, really loved your first camera and took a bit to switch over to uh, the newer one that you won, um, there's someone here asking, uh, Marco uh, Cambry says, what do you think about the higher end lenses? Are they worth investing into them? Yeah, I think, I don't know what Tony and Chelsea's opinion is, but I would say invest more in a nicer lens versus a nicer body. Yeah, we say the same thing. Okay, yeah. So I think it'll just, because sometimes when your your lens isn't like sharp enough or it's just outdated, it it'll it can distract from what you're trying to do. But... Other than that, I, I would say invest more on like a if on a lens than a body. Is that did I not answer? I'm just blabbering. Yeah, no, I think you answered it. I yeah. think that's I think fine. But it. Roxy, okay. one thing I I never see you just use bokeh in your pictures. I never see you just take the headshot with the blown out background. That's just not your style. You never blur the background, right? No. So you no, don't even I need don't... an expensive lens. You can do what you do with like a standard kit lens because yeah, it's not about sharp, the gear sharp and no chromatic aberration i mean she yeah. still needs good but luck. she could pick the f4 lens instead of the f28 lens and that would be fine yeah mm -hmm. i think the point i'm making is at least in my opinion the style of modern photography is moving away from like super fast lenses yeah and... it depends what you want to shoot if you want to shoot portraits and make money off doing family sessions and see portraits then you need a lens that does good bokeh because that's what people like they don't yeah. care if they want the background to be out of focus yeah because they want their child to be in focus but if you want to shoot more commercial and lifestyle then i would suggest not doing so much bokeh so good suggestion. our audience roxy they don't do a lot of fashion photography so i just want to compel you all right now look at the paid fashion photographers when you were just going through a store look at the pictures because they're not perfect there's something else about them if you look sometimes the model's face isn't even what's in focus if they have a bracelet they're selling or a bra or a shirt so you have to understand there are different ways of shooting there's different gear that's going to get different people to different places that's very vague but i think you know what i mean so you have to really just get what works for you in the gear department and just focus on your style. Yeah. 
I called out a couple of pictures that I thought were particularly amazing, like okay. this one from Kimpatsu Katya. Uh, this fantastic like colors, the right? Cover of an indie magazine. Yeah, I think so. That is a great commentary. Yeah, that's exactly how it looks. Mm -hmm. I love this. I have never seen anything quite like this, and I think it's just Photoshopped together, but I like the blending of the two images. There's um, a photographer, I cannot think of his name, but he did collages like this. Very famous. I, I, yeah, I want to see more from that set. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's cool. And what about this, right? All the contrast, you got the light streaming through the back doors and her black outfit is push, positioned in front of that so you can see the nice shape, the silhouette of the dress. Awesome. Beautiful. This makes sense. The outfit, the mood, the location, beautiful. It's all tied together. Yes. Content aware Phil did it. To begin okay. That pick. It's a wrap unless you want to go to more questions. Yeah, let's do one more. Okay. I like, I like <laughs> one more I'm going to laugh every time Roxy. I see her mug. <laughs> um, John Merch says, hey, Roxy. Hey. What do you, <laughs> what do you like to shoot on your day off? Um, actually, a lot, if you like go to my website, the, a lot, like 95% of the editorial section is what I do on my day off. Like none of that is paid. It's me reaching out to a model being like, I want to shoot this. It's me putting together the wardrobe. Um, usually I do have a hair and makeup team, but like that stuff is what I love to shoot on my day off. It's amazing, too. You really have to go look at her Instagram and her website. She has incredible work there. Roxy, thank you so much for joining us. Will you Thanks, come back? Guys. No. Pressure. No. No? <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course. Anytime you'll have me. Okay. Thank you. And thank you, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, guys. Nice to meet you, Roxy. Nice to meet you. And everyone, join us next week. Our theme is going to be sports and action. That should be fun. We're right. going to be shooting a soccer game this weekend, so that's oh, why I made it. That. You know, we never announced the, the winner to the show. Oh, oh, good oh my call, goodness! Tony. The winner last week was Gordon Doherty, and Gordon, you win a year of Adobe the Photography Bundle. That's Photoshop and Lightroom, and twenty dollars a gift certificate at our store, stp.io/store. You can get books, a T-shirt, a patch. It's good. So, wow. isn't that just amazing, Roxy? Wow, wow, wow. Congratulations, <laughs> sir. After wow, the show wow. is over, you can go to stp.io slash vote and pick from our picks this week to pick your favorite portrait or fashion, and that person will win that awesome prize from Adobe. Yes. All right. Have a good night, and we'll see you next week, same time, same place. Bye. Bye. That is all.